Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about orchestration. I'm Nimish Shalat and we have with us Munir Mubashir. Both of us are from HP Software's Automation and Cloud Management Portfolio. Hi Munir. Hi Nimish. Hey, uh, what, uh, can you share with us what your thoughts are on the concepts of orchestration or IT process automation? Sure, sure. Uh, well, well, IT process automation and orchestration, is, these are terms that have been used a lot in our industry. You know, us marketers try to take something and, and, and use it. But what we like to do is, is go back to the basics, right? What is orchestration and what is IT process automation? And if you distill it down to the basics, it basically is coordination of automated tasks and activities. So coordination has, has always happened, but we're saying, look, you, not only do you have to coordinate manual tasks, but you have to coordinate automated actions across groups, across tool sets that you might use, as well as if you sprinkle in a bit of cloud across multiple uh, cloud environments. And that's true for the different categories that, of events or service requests or change records that uh, IT organizations deal with. So again, it doesn't matter what the activity is, as long as it can be automated, we can coordinate it, and, and that's what uh, I think our, our customers and, and practitioners should, should focus on. Okay, so on this topic of coordinating this cluster of automated activities, uh, mm -hmm. what is HP software software's offering in terms of solution, or what is HP's point of view to help customers get started in this space. Right, right. So HP, I think, has a, a, you know, a lot of a lot of solutions that can address orchestration. But if we if we just uh, look at some of the key offerings that we have, one of course is the HP Operations Orchestration, which allows you to do exactly that. Allows you to coordinate. Allows you to automate across uh, across groups, across multiple. Uh, uh, Personas. So even if if I'm a server infrastructure uh, persona, someone who's interested in rolling out servers quickly, it's a, it's a process. We we orchestrate across uh, across that, working closely with our uh, with our patching provisioning offerings across servers, ma middleware, and database. We do the same thing when it comes to automating events and, and incidents, whether that be tying back to a monitoring solution we have in-house or any other third-party monitoring solution. We enable our customers to recover uh, quickly, so not in hours, not in days, but seconds, and, and repair uh, repair events quickly, and, and and the list goes on to the change records, to ad hoc activities, and so on and so forth. Now you might ask, where do we where do we start? I just I just talked about the whole IT organization and all the activities that our organizations that an IT organization might carry on. So where do you start? And that's the trick, right? You start where there is high ROI. You start where you get a quick win such as event event remediation. You also uh, tie, try to tie back to initiatives that are funded and allow an organization to be more transformational, such as some of the cloud initiatives. Uh, you know, how do you quickly roll out services to external cloud providers? And this is where orchestration is included in our cloud management solution. So the list kind of goes on there. But if I have to lead, leave some quick takeaways, quick wins, uh, and uh, and quick returns and the good news is that we have capabilities within the product that enable us to get quick wins and uh, and quick ROI. Okay, so Munir, if our customers wanted to learn more about orchestration or specifically HP's operations orchestration software, uh, where would they get started? So multiple places. Of course, we have our HP dot. Com, right, that's where we have the you know, the orchestration page. Uh, we also just rolled out a, a toolkit, which is which contains a series of offerings or a series of collateral that provide more insight into orchestration. It starts off with the ebook, you know, gets into some of the definition we talked about, but again, and gets into also some some. Um, some prescriptive ways of rolling out orchestration. We also have an infographic which is based on survey responses of about 110 customers where they talk about the value that they realize from orchestration, specifically HPOO. And then we also have a thought leadership uh, uh, white paper that addresses uh, the concept of moving from just a server-centric, which is my view of the world, 
uh, view, whether it be server or network or a storage device, to, to a more service-centric, where we take a service-centric view and look at the broader service as opposed to just our own uh, silos. Okay, awesome, Munir. So just to summarize, you helped us understand your view on our, our orchestration. Uh, you talked about HP solutions and point of view on how to get started on orchestrating in the environment. And here you are giving us the gift of the toolkit with several uh, several items in it that will help us our customers get started. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm Nimish. This is Munir. We are from HP Software's Automation and Cloud Management Portfolio. Uh, follow us on this series as well as on our blog which is grounded in the cloud. Thank you very much. Thank you.